up? It's me, Priscilla. So I thought we would do a little fun tutorial on another character from Miraculous Ladybug, and that would have to be Marinette's Miraculous Tiki. So let's go ahead and draw Tiki just by herself. I know we drew her with uh, Marinette, but let's go ahead and draw Tiki by herself. You're going to go ahead and we're first going to draw a circle. After our circle, what you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and make that imaginary eye line right here. I'm going to go right down here. And then I'm going to go across the head just like this. And I made the eye line way down here just because Tiki has a very large forehead. Now, what I'd like to do next is I'm going to jump over here on top of the head and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this and go straight down. See how I went off to the side, brought it straight down, and then I'm going to jump off to the side over here and bring this over here as well. So I'm going to keep the top of this part of her head very round and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this out down to the side. So I'm bringing this out just a little bit and then I'm going to connect this to this line right here which is underneath her head. So next, what I'd like to do is go ahead and draw one eye. So this is her eye line. What I want to do is I'm going to jump off to the side, bring this up, bring it down, and connect. Then I'm going to jump over here. So I'm going to say, we want to keep this on the same line, so I'm going to keep this, this is the bottom of her eye. I'm going to make sure it's on the same line, and then I'm going to jump up here and connect. They do look like big pumpkin seeds, but the thing of over here is because we're seeing this side of her face more than this side of her face. So I'm going to bring this down, make sure it goes in pretty well. Make this a little flatter and you just want to make sure that they are the same size, same height, on the same line. Now what I want to do is I'm going to jump off to the side, inside of her eye, and make her pupil iris because she has really large pupil irises and it takes up most of her eye. I'm going to go ahead and erase some of these guidelines inside the eyes so we're not confused. So what I want to do is I'm going to chop off this side of the corner of her eye so this is going to stay the same. This is going to be the little white part of her eye. And then I'm going to jump down over here and bring this down. Now Tiki doesn't have a nose but she does have a mouth. So where her nose would go, right about here, we're just going to jump down just a little bit and she has a teeny tiny mouth. So we're just going to draw the top of the mouth for right now. I'm going to bring in that forehead just a little bit. Okay, so she has a, she has a lot of shine going on in her eye. Before we draw the shines, I'd like to go ahead and bring down this part of her eye, which is her iris, and they're purple. So then the rest, so we got one shine here, so I'm going to draw the big shine, and here's another shine here, and another shine here. So that means I can color in the rest of her pupil. So for this side of her eye, her eye over here, her iris comes down here, circles up, and back into her top eye line. So this is all purple and this is black. So then after that we have a shine here and two shines down here, similar to this one. So I'm gonna erase that line that I just made so I can go ahead and fill in those shines. Make sure they're nice and shiny and not full of lines. So this is her pupil go ahead and color in her pupil. So she has a very a very thick line for her bottom eye line 
Now what I did here is I took my pen and I filled in Tiki's pupil. Tiki's eye color and fill it in, then you would see that they're not crooked, they're placed perfectly. That if you were to color in Tiki's eyes, your eyes don't look off, color them in and you'll see that what the difference is. So the top eye line, what you're gonna do is you have one eyelash right here, one eyelash right here, an eyelash right here, and an eyelash right here. And you're gonna jump over it all the way to the corner up here, and an eyelash here, and an eyelash here. Then you're gonna jump over here and you have an eyelash here, eyelashes over here, little itty bitty ones going off the side of her head, eyelash here, eyelash here. Now, what are you gonna do to this line down here? You're gonna bring down Tiki's mouth. And all it is is it looks like an orange slice. <laughs> so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump inside and give one little row of teeth on top and then a row of teeth on the bottom. And then you can go inside and color that in. Then of course for Tiki, what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump on top right here to a little off to the side. Bring this down to the middle part of the line where we made that middle line. Bring it over and then round it back up. That's one spot. And then you're gonna come down to right here, off to her cheek, the side of her cheek, right here. You're gonna bring down that spot. So those are the only two spots we can see. And if you would like, I'm gonna go ahead and fill them in. Now Tiki has little itty bitty antennas. One is coming up over here, and it's curved this way. So they're very, very thin. So we have one curved antenna that way. See how it's turned? I just totally <laughs> so it's turned this way and then we have one down here that's curving this way now from right here since Tiki has a fairly large head we're gonna go right underneath here and give her her little neck and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump out this way round it and go right back in then what you're going to do for one arm you're going to go jump off down below her her neck right here you're going to jump off to the side bring this out make a little hill circle this around and then back into her body. There's one little arm. Now you're gonna jump over here. Bring out this side. So they almost look like dolphin flippers in a way. So you're gonna bring out this side. You're gonna round off the corner like we did over here. And then bring this one in. Now for down here what you're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and make a spot here and we're gonna leave this part part but what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this down from this part where we just from this section we just made you're gonna bring this down and go in and connect to here and you're gonna do almost the exact same thing. You're gonna leave this part, but then you're gonna bring out this one and this one. What you can do is erase this much of it. From down here, what you can do is you can bring this part out, circle in, and connect. Then for this part over here, you're gonna bring this down, circle back, and 
connect once again. Then you're gonna jump back here. We can't, she has like, it, they almost look like tail feathers. They're not tail feathers. But you can barely see one poking out back here. And it's very similar to her arms. So we don't wanna confuse those. So we got one right back here. And you got one just below it back here as well. And they're tail feathers. They look like tail feathers at least. <laughs> so to shape up the side of her just a bit, let's go ahead and connect these a little bit better. So we're gonna connect those. And you're gonna bring this down. Bring this back and bring this back. So those are her two little tail feathers. So let's get some shading going on. Let's start with her legs because they look a little confusing. I'm gonna shade right here. Then I'm gonna go underneath and shade under this leg. You're going to keep all the lines. And then you're gonna shade back here as well. And then you're gonna shade down here. And what you really wanna focus on is shading in these feathers since they are behind her body. And then of course you wanna shade underneath her neck and shade underneath this part of her head. You just wanna shade that in just to give it, cause she does have a fairly large head. <laughs> And there you guys go! There's a fun, quick tutorial on how to draw Tiki from Miraculous Ladybug. I hope you guys have a wonderful night, and I will see you all later. Bye! Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by Dramatic Parrot today. Make sure you click on that subscribe button, and hey, if you liked this video today, make sure you hit that like button as well. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the fun stuff, and like my Facebook page. And and if you haven't seen it already, I have started a vloggity vlog vlog channel on Wonderland Girl. So make sure you go ahead and check that out and subscribe to that channel as well. Other than that, I will see y'all later. Bye!